But we're going to begin with the family who took in Nicholas Cruz, the 19-year-old who police say killed 17 people in a horrific school shooting last week. Cruz had been living with the Sneed since Thanksgiving after his adoptive mother, Linda, died of pneumonia. The Sneed's son was Cruz's friend, James Kimberly, and their lawyer, Jim Lewis, are here with us now. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. And, and James and Kimberly, I, I can't begin to imagine what it's like for your family. So how are you guys holding up? Um, it's it's a roller coaster of emotions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's still tough. It's still we're still hurting, we're still grieving. Um, Feeling for the families it's affected. And and, and you opened your home to Cruz for nearly three months. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you tried to get him counseling. And what was he like in your home? Nothing like they portray on television or in the media. Uh, yeah, in the everything newspapers. everybody seems to know we didn't know. We, didn't know. Um, we had rules and. Um, he followed every rule to the T. And, mm -hmm. and before he moved into your home, how well did you know him? Uh, I had met him a couple times before. He had spent the night at the house, and uh, he was very polite. Um, he didn't, he seemed normal. And, and Kimberly, can you take us back to that day? Was there anything unusual, out of the normal, with his behavior before no. that day? No, no, no. The only thing that was maybe different was that he didn't go to school. He usually drives him to school and with him in the morning. He didn't go that, and, day, that and particular morning, which why? sometimes happens. And he, uh, just, he said he didn't uh, go to school on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, but when did you realize what he had done? Um, uh, after the SWAT team called me and asked where, if I knew where my son Nicholas was. And I said, he's not my son, but I don't know where he's at. And at that point, I got in touch with my son, who was fleeing the scene at that point. And um, a description came out, and uh, we put two and two together, me and my son, and we figured out what was happening. And, and what was going through your mind when this happened? Um, did, you, did you both find out at the same time? No, she was home yeah. sleeping. And um, at that point, I was panic-stricken for her safety, so I called the SWAT officer back to get the police back to my home to check on her. And, and after all this happened, at one point, you did get a chance to, to see Nicholas. And, and what did you say to him? Did he, and did he speak back to you? Did he say anything back? It was at the um, police station when they were going past us. And I basically, I went after him. I really wanted to struggle, just to strangle him more than anything. And I just, everything I wanted to say, just didn't, I, I tried to reserve myself. I said, really, Nick? Really, you know, yelled at him. And he mumbled something, but I didn't hear it. And he said he, he said he was sorry. He said he was sorry. But, I didn't hear that. I was just furious and heartbroken. And, and Absolutely, I, just heartbroken, devastated. I, I, I still can't process it, what he's done, because this wasn't the person that we knew. Mm -hmm. Not at all. And, so, and he was friends with your son. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, how's your son holding up? Uh, he's, he's angry. Yeah. He's angry. He's betrayed. He's, you know, um, he's Fur upset. Furious. To um, he was at that school, too, and he had friends at that school. And he was at school that day, James, and I know he, Nicholas texted your son. Yes, sir. What were those texts like? Um, he, told, he told my son he was going to the movies. And um, he said he had something to tell him. And, and my son pressed him, what is it, what is it? He goes, nothing bad, bro. And he goes, and that was it. And then he said he was going to the movies. And then um, the last text my son got was, um, yo. And that was it. And that was about 218, I believe. Do you have any idea why you think he texted your son? No idea. Mm. No idea. And, and Mr. Lewis, thank you for joining us as well. And, and what is the latest with the FBI investigation of this all? Well, we're continuing to cooperate with them. These folks uh, opened their house up to the FBI. They've opened their phones. They've cooperated in every way. And uh, I just want people to know out there, these are good people who are trying to do the right thing. Uh, they took this young man and got him into, into another school. They. Uh, got him a job, they brought him into their home and tried to show him love. The young man, even Nick, indicated that he was very happy in this home. And now, you know, like they say, no good deed goes unpunished. But are, are you worried about any legal repercussions with the family? These folks aren't worried. They're, they're here to, to tell what happened, if they get sued, if somebody tries to find fault with them. Mm -hmm. You know, this young man, th who they're most concerned about, their own son, Mm -hmm. He's part of this community, too. These are his friends. He wants to go back to the school. They want to get back to their lives, but they want people to know because on this gem, Nick was at their house. They want to tell people everything that they know, including the FBI and all law enforcement. And again, they've cooperated from day one. And there have been so many reports about Nicholas's alleged social media use and, and about guns and posting of guns, about killing small animals. 
Did you know anything about any of that? No, sir. Um, we knew he had one Instagram account uh, that my son had, and I guess that would be the, the normal one. Um, these other Instagram accounts that he had, we had no idea about. My son had no idea about. Um, as far as the animal killings, he never did anything like that at our house. We have animals, and he loved our animals. Our animals loved him. And you were aware that he had weapons when he moved into your home? Absolutely. And, and where were they kept? Um, we, before he moved in, one of the stipulations is he had to get a gun safe. <clears throat> And we got a gun safe on the way back from Lantana from moving his stuff to our house. And did he have, he didn't have free access to this gun no, safe? No, no, um, I thought I had the only key to the gun safe. And, and had he ever asked you beforehand to, to use a gun to take it out of the safe? He asked twice. Um, once um, I said yes because he wanted to clean it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which gun he wanted to clean, but he said he wanted to clean a gun. I said okay, and another time he asked and I told him no. It wasn't a good time. And why did you tell him no? There. Uh, I don't know what the situation was in the house. It was just, it wasn't a good time. I don't know we were getting ready to leave or getting ready to sit down for dinner or something, but it wasn't a good time. And, and judging from any past interaction with him, it seemed like you had no problem with him having a weapon. No, no. not at all. He followed the rules. He followed the rules. He followed the rules. They weren't allowed to be out if we weren't home or one of us wasn't home. Um, and he knew that, and to our knowledge, he never had them out. And as far as the animals goes, if he, I am very much an animal person. Anybody who knows me knows that. There's no way I'd let anybody in my house if I thought he was torturing animals at all. And if we'd known anything about the Instagram accounts, or I don't, I don't even know how to use Instagram, I'm a little old school, but if we had known anything about that, he wouldn't have even been in our home. That wouldn't even been an option. And do you have any, do you have a message for the family out there who've lost children and, or have lost loved ones in this tragedy. Nothing I can say will will heal them. Um, mm -hmm. We hurt for them deeply. Uh, very much so. We, we're devastated, and I can't imagine um, the pain that they must be feeling. And like he said, nothing that we can say is going to be any kind of help. But we're very sorry. That, you know. They had this experience and never should have happened. Yeah. And again, if we had known any of the things that we are hearing, we're learning a lot about all of this just the same as everybody else, you know, and we feel betrayed as well and, and just shocked. Um, it's just, it's crushed everybody's world I'm, in I'm, our community. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm sure it's very overwhelming for you. And do you plan on seeing Nicholas throughout all this? Not at this time. No. No. All right, thank you guys so much, Jane and Kimberly. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank Mr. You. Lewis, thank you. Thank you for having well. us very much. Thank you, sir. And we'll be right back. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.